Yo, what's good with you? What's good with you? Back with another one, Tauruses, Taurus Cross Watchers, Taurus Energy, how it's being allocated to your chart. Um, you're all welcome. Thanks for being here. Now, I may cuss, but I don't curse. Let's get that situated first. Bars. What else? If you want to get in contact with me, if you need to get in contact with me, or you feel you do, right? There'll be a link to my website in the description box. You can click on it. It'll take you to my calendar. And um, you can arrange an appointment with me via Google Meet Pause. And we could do a tarot reading. We could do an astrological reading. It's truly up to you. It'll take an hour. You know what I mean? We get an hour. So what you want to do in an hour, we can do that. Um, I'm not doing a whole natal chart reading, though. Calm your tits. All right? I'm not going. It's not that serious. It's not that far. But we could pick apart your chart. Bars. You know what I mean? Uh, what else? I got merchandise. Got a mystery school on the website, too. You can look at that. Read the details. There's a membership on the um, YouTube channel. It's two memberships. And we have a new deck of cards here. I might as well introduce it again, right? Let me not be, let me not be lazy like that. And, or it, I don't even think it's being lazy. I think it's maybe... I don't want nobody jacking my deck like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, pause. That's crazy. But for real, I'm serious. <laughs> but you can't keep it unless you give it away type shit, right? So anyway, this is the Cosmic Slumber Tarot deck, all right? And it's like anime. This is from um, Tilly Walden, by the way. All right, Tilly Walden. Just in case y'all want to know, tarot readers, y'all can... You know what I mean? Don't worry. Y'all can jack it. It's all good. Pause. Set myself up right there. That's just crazy. All right, so with that being said, let's get these cards right, right? Bars. <laughs> what you talking about? You know, play with me. I'm nice. All right. Y'all heard my new song, too? Yeah, how y'all like my rock and roll guitar shit? Oh, you see orbs and shit flying through here? Let me see if I can put a little bit more light. Was that an orb or a dust? Was that a fairy or was it dust? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want too much light. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. All right. Let's get these cards right. First card represents... Hold on, let me cut it again. I just feel like I gotta cut it again, y'all. This first card represents... Three cards, you ain't gonna hold you long. This first card represents the situation at hand for the Taurus energy, you heard? Nine of Cups. Wants to be famous. I just drew this card. And look, I said, let me let me cut it again. I feel I need to cut it again. And it still came up the same card from the Aries energy. From the Aries reading. But anyway, it wants to be famous. Nine of Cups. Situation at hand. This card represents how you feel about the situation. Oh, jeez. That was upside down, so just remember that. These new cards, boy, it's crazy. The Knight. Now, the Knight, this is a this is a bonus card for this deck, all right? So let me show it to you first so you can see it. it looks kind of chaotic, kind of crazy, right? All right. But that's how you feel about the situation at hand. And this card represents the factor to consider regarding all of this. The Hanged One. Okay. Shit is dope, right? All right, I, I'm flexing right now. Let me calm down, yo. I'm doing, I'm doing too much, right? Doing the most right now. All right. So. All right. Your wish fulfillment is here. Your dreams that you've been waiting on patiently have arrived so in a sense it's like the drama is over the turmoil is over the um you see how this card is what this tells me what it, or what it shows to me or how it speaks to me is like it's pretty much saying this it's like yo look when you're walking in water it feels light, but it also feels heavy, if that makes sense. Right or wrong, though? When you're in water, it's like you can easily jump and it feels, it looks and feels like, or it looks like you're out of space, right? You get the flow, your body becomes lighter. It does. But it's difficult and challenging to go fast. It's like you must swim in order to go fast, to pick up speed. But here, the situation at hand right here is that this took you some time. You know what I'm saying? This took you some time to do. And um, your patience is what made it possible for your dreams to be 
you know, finally here. Your fulfillment, your wish fulfillment to finally be here. But see, here's the thing, though. This is how you feel about the situation. This night card. And it's in reverse. So that means, like, you are overwhelmed with knowing that your dreams is at hand. So it's like, I don't, maybe I should just use this as an analogy. It's like the lotto winners when they win the lotto. Not everyone, but the ones who go AWOL or they go bananas after they hit the jackpot. And for whatever reason, you know what I mean? But I'll say for this reason, for the sake of this reading, is that, you know, who doesn't dream to be a millionaire, billionaire, whatever, whatever, right? And then when it comes, pause. You're like, oh, shit. Like, I'm going shopping immediately. You know, some of us, some of us, maybe most of us. I don't know the ratio, you know what I mean? But just think about that as an analogy for what I'm saying right now. This is how you feel about the situation. It's tough for you to sleep at night. You're actually up at night because you're waiting for the next. You know, you might be so you might just be waiting for the stores to open because you feel it so much at, at hand. You know what I'm saying? Pause. That's crazy. And what the universe is saying right now, what spirit is saying right now is to take care of yourself. Meaning when it comes to nighttime specifically to not eat so heavy, watch your diet, eat something smaller before you lay down and go to sleep to actually get some sleep. And um, yeah, don't stay up all night binge watching. Don't lay in the bed with your snacks next to you and all of that stuff. You know, show some discipline and even more because. With the hanged one right after it, this is this card is dope too. Like this, this fucking deck is dope. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm giddy over this shit, yo. But listen, with the hanged one there right after the night, you know it's a Pisces card. It's a you know so it deals with the night. When the Pisces hours are between four and six a.m. You know what I mean? If you didn't know, now you know. So it's like yo, it's expecting you to dream around this time. So what I'm picking up on is something is going to be in your dreams to be received that's going to be related to your dreams that's all bars right because i'm nice but here no idea because this isn't all about me this is about you right now your dreams are going to be prophetic but not only prophetic they're going to be guiding you into what to do because with this dream fulfillment i'm feeling there's going to be responsibility so if you don't have a dream journal Obtain one now, all right? Obtain one now, get to it, because there's messages for you in your dream. And again, the the I don't know if you're having cold sweats or you're finding it difficult to sleep at night for whatever reason, and it might just be anxiety. Again, you might be overly excited about, you know, the things that are at hand right now. And, you know, it's understandable, but at the same time, you do have the ability to take the power into your hands and alter some things, like I said, about diet, about routine, repetition, maybe even exercising um, nearer to bedtimes because it'll actually wear your body out. Some people get more adrenaline when they work out, but if you work out, work out, yeah, you're going to go to sleep. Your, your body's going to go to sleep, all right? So, yeah, don't drink coffee at night. You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all be on at 6 o'clock in the evening shit just because, you know what I mean? I'm one of those people. Sometimes I do it too. So guilty as charged. I ain't trying to beat you up and drag you. You heard? With that being said, y'all, until next time I see y'all, I'm out.